As a last step of the drawing process, we need to cover the remaining area of the entry and foyer room. I cannot use the live serpentine command and use that line as an entry point because otherwise the circuits drawn by live serpentine and the ones already drawn will be overlapped. So I use circuit path that allows me to draw leader's line and define a new radian area. Let's see how to do that. I ran the command, I snap on the manifold and one of the station of the manifold. Then I set the distance from the circuit to zero and I force a spacing to four inches on the center. Then I draw the leader's line to the entry. I'll go inside the foyer room. You can decide where to go into from. Then I switch to occupied spacing. So in this part of the area I let the program read the occupied spacing of the foyer. I go all around redefining another area and then I can stop drawing the radian area here. Because the projection of the last part of the line crosses the other leader line on the other side, an area has been defined. I have just to make sure that the circuit direction is counterclockwise and as soon as I click apply the program draws the circuits inside it. And as you can see there is no overlapping of circuits in the entry room. Now, because part of the corridor is still empty, I can also draw the leader's line back to the manifold. Let's see how we can do that. Let's turn off the circuits so we have the leader's line available. And I rerun the circuit path command. I click on the line that was already in the drawing and then right before the entrance of the closet I stop drawing. So when I force the program to redraw the circuits this is what the program draws automatically. Now we can stretch back this part of the pipe to cover the entire corridor or we can make some other changes if we want to. Stretching this part of the pie is pretty easy. The program updates the length of the pipe and updates also the pressure drop. Over here we could change the distance from the circuits in order to have a more uniform displacement of the circuits. As you can see now the program didn't redraw the pipe automatically, just because the circuit has been edited by the user. So I have to force the redrawing and of course I'm gonna lose what I what I did before, the changes I made before. So if I wanna get the same result I have to stretch back this pipe up. So this is the way how to edit circuits already drawn.